Hello, and welcome to The Daily Gas for May 17th, 2024, called Five is a Little Bit Alive by Bill Murphy. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits and cells separated by white circles must have a difference of five. All circles are given. So what does that mean? Well, this here, difference of five, means, for example, the cells here could be 1 and 6. That is because 1 and 6 have a difference of 5 with each other, or you can add 1 to both, so 2, 7, 3, 8, or 4, 9. Those are all our options along our 5 pairs. However, given the fact that all circles have been uh, placed in the grid here, that means that this here could never be 3. That's because 3 and 8 have a difference of 5. But because there's no white circle there, it is not allowed. And that's it. Those are the rules. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so... Well, okay, so because of the difference of five rules, kind of reminds you a little bit of uh, German Whisper. So five can never go on a difference of five. So actually, right away we get a five in the center here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we can glean from this. Five and five. No. Hmm. All right, well, we know that there are four pairs, and they need to use high digits. So, for example, these pairs here must be all the pairs that aren't the 9 version. So, this must be the 1, 6, the 2, 7. Oh, so, wait, sorry. 1, 6, 2, 7. Before I, I just start arbitrarily pencil marking, tells us that this must be the 3.8 version. This must be 3.8. Then 6 tells us this can't be 1.6, so this must be the 2.7 version, which means this must be the 1.6 version. 1.6. 3.8, 2.7, means this must be 4.9. This can't be 271649, so it must be 38. And then this must be the last option there, which is um, 7. We have a new 7, so 2, 7. So every time it's all about using just 7, 8, 9. Or 6, 7, 8, 9. This is used 9, 8, 7, so this must be 6. 6, 7, 8 means this is 9. And this must be the 8. 38. And then here, this can't be 1, 6, 4, 9, 8, so it must be the 2, 7 version. This must be the 6 version. And this will be the 9 version. And then, ah, 1, 6, where does 1, 6 go? Here. Can't be roping. Hmm. One six means four nine five. So this is actually a four five pair. So we have lots of pairs running around. Four five. Theoretically, we should be able to do that with all of this. Like four nine. Where does the other four nine pair go? It goes here. That means that this is three five. Whatever this is with five. Three eight. This is, ah, oh wait, and that's what I'm missing. 4, 5 gives us 9, so we know the order. This is 9, this is 4, this is 9. nine. Um, 5, 3, 5 tells us that this must be 8. 3, 8. And we might be able to do something more with that, but we won't touch on that just yet. This is 2, 5, right? 2, 5. 2, 5 stairs across here. This will be 2, 7. So this must be 7, this must be 2, 7. And then this is 1, 5. 
and the 1, 5 gives us 6. 6, 1, 6. And... Surprised there's not more that I can do. Two seven, two seven. Six, two seven. Oh, this must be three eight. I'm noticing four five three eight. So this must be three eight. But like I said, we know there's no roping here. So that's not super helpful. This must be 2, 7. Oh, probably that's what I'm missing here. I need to look and say 6, 9, 3, 3, 8 means this must be 2, 7. And this will probably resolve something. 2, 7. This can't be um, 2, 7. It can't be. Oh, sorry. 2 gives us 7, 2. There we go. That's what we're missing. 7, 2. 2, 7, 7, 2, 7. There we go. It all comes together, don't it? So, in the same way, what is this? It must be the 6, 1 version with the 1. We know that this is 1, this is 6, which helps here because this needs to be from the set 1, 6. So this is 6, 1, 6. Then here, it can't be 6, 7, or 8. So it must be the 9 version, which means this is 9, this is 4, which helps here because this must be 9, 4, 9. Lots of symmetry. And then 3, 8. This is 3, this is 8, and 3 gives us 8, 3, 8. And that's a 3 in the corner. So at this point, we've actually done all of our 5 pairs, so it's probably just about remembering our negative pairs. So for example here, 7, 2 must be 5, 2. For 9... Those interact, so they shouldn't have any sort of interaction elsewhere. But here, in the same way, 3, 8, this must be the 5, 5, 3. This must be 5, 4. This must be 5, 1. All right. Then, 3, 8, and what? 3, 8, and 4. So this is 4. 3, 8. Maybe I'm missing something there. 3, 8. I don't think so, but uh, 4, 9, we know that this will be 4, 9, and this will be our remaining digit of 1. This will be 2, this will be 3, kind of uh, cheating a little bit, using a little bit of our symmetry, but... Uh, I think that'll get us through the process here. 716. Maybe we have roping through the center. That's possible. So what are the two digits we're missing? We are missing 1 and 5. So 1 can't go next to 6, and that's what does it for us. 5, 1, 1 gives us 6, 1, 6. 5, 1. Uh, we're still missing 5 and 3. 3 can't go next to 8. 5, 3, 3, 8, 3. 3, 8. This is the only digit missing, which is 1. This is the only digit missing, which is 3. Then, in the same way, we're missing 5 and what? 4. 4 can't go next to 9. 5, 4, 4, 9, 9, 9, 4. Over here, we're missing 2 and 5. 2 can't go next to 7. 5, 2, 7, 7, <laughs> 7, 2. And to finish this off, we're missing 3. And we're missing 2. And, oh, not, not three, four, Oof. four, and two, and we are done. In seven minutes and 58 seconds with five is a little bit alive by Bill Murphy. Wow. It's like I did all of that work and I almost, uh, I almost, uh, I almost messed up there at the end. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh. That was, uh, I, I, I like the negative constraint. It's been a little while, I think, since we've seen a negative constraint in our daily gas puzzles. I have included a negative constraint in my newest puzzle, which I will link down below. 
but uh, shameless self-promotion aside, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.